Lisa, you want to turn this around and tell them where we are? We are at Cummings Falls State Park. And we are going to go see Cummins Falls. That's right. All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right, so we're hacking our way out to Cummins Falls. Always want to come out here and check that out. So today's the day. You can go to the underwood. Well, it's nice to get out of the car and stretch our legs uh, since the tree house. Uh, That's true. <laughs> we've been road tripping and planning our next adventures and talking about YouTubing and video ideas and all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, sorry. There's lots of rocks and roots here, so we're kind of bumping into one another. I didn't bring my gimbal. I left it in the car because my battery is fading. So I've got it charging. So we've decided to go up to the overlook first, and then we're gonna hike down to the, uh, to under the, below the falls uh, on the way out. I think is how we're gonna do it. <sighs> All right, and navigate this stream crossing. All right, I think we're getting very close. I can hear some of the waterfall, I believe. So. This is definitely a highly trafficked trail. Many yeah. people of all kinds. Mm -hmm. so we're really looking forward to getting out here and seeing this. So on that street, on this sign right here, we've been following the yellow blazes since the parking lot. So there's yellow blaze and the green blaze. The green blaze is downstream. And the yellow blaze is the upstream. Really hard to see the waterfall from right here, even though it is isn't winter time. Uh, we're gonna try to find a better, no, no, find a better advantage. She doesn't listen to me, but that's okay. I'm gonna walk right over here and uh, yeah, find a better vantage point. Oh, it's coming far. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, here we are in Cookville, Tennessee at Cummings Falls. And Lisa is somewhere over there. She jumped the fence somewhere. She's probably down underneath the waterfall somewhere. But anyway, in Cummings Falls, uh, road stop three today. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to hike uh, uh, down here in a moment and uh, see it from the bottom side. Well, I decided to backtrack and find Lisa. And of course, I found her at the very top of the waterfall. What'd you find down there? Yeah. Nice, can't wait to see him. Have a waterfall. Yeah. Can we go to the bottom? Let's go. I drop off it's because I fell down the hill here <laughs> yeah we're still hiking down the trail going down to the bottom of the uh, falls and uh, it's quite a hike down at least the trail is very pretty 
Uh, still see some markings on trees and some graffiti things like that, which I'm totally not used to because I'm so used to hiking in the Smokies where everything is almost perfect, you know, and come out here and you see initials on trees and stuff. That's just not something that I'm used to seeing. Spray paint markings on everything. Yeah. But we're uh, really glad to be out here and uh, hiking uh, Cummins Fall State Park today because it was on our bucket list, but it wasn't something we necessarily had planned to do today. It was just, today was our road trip day and we had a, a made some last minute plans to do some crazy wild stuff. And when I mean crazy wild stuff, I guess road tripping it out to do some attractions today is was what it is or what it was. Just like we have to come back up this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. We're still going away from the waterfall, which is strange, but we are going down the down the mountain though. <sighs> All right, we've made it down Creekside, and there's a little pig trail along the shoreline that takes us upstream. So maybe this is what takes us up to the waterfall. I don't know. It's hard to explain the color of this lake. I think it's the slate rock. If you notice how the water's a green, like a real clean green color, I think that's the way the slate rock is. It's here in this Cumberland Plateau, Cookville area. Limestone. Limestone, yeah. Those icicles hanging out there. All that water coming out of the, out of the rocks. So we had a so we had a passerby tell us that there was a little landslide back right here, and there actually is. There is. Uh, he wasn't able to cross it. It wasn't very hard at all. In fact, you know, my hands aren't dirty. Neither's my my other hand. Neither's my butt. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad. So uh, I guess crossings are in the eyes of the beholder. Eyes of the beholder out here. So Depends anyway, on how much laundry stuff you want to use? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're trucking on upstream. This oh, is such a, a waterfall. Yeah, there yeah. it is. I see that that ice falling up there. Yeah. This is such a beautiful stream out here. So impressed with this. It's beautiful. Check out that beautiful waterfall. I am just loving these colors. I can see why this is a very popular water spot in summertime. This is absolutely beautiful. All right. I am just blown away at how beautiful this whole, this whole area is out here. My gosh, this is so beautiful. Love it out here. So glad we took a road trip today. Took a chance on the weather and got out and uh, did some exploring. This is absolutely beautiful. piece right here is missing and then beyond that point right there there's nowhere else to step unless to step down into the water and kind of go up under that tree but I don't think that's something we want to do that water's cold there's like 
still obstacles out. So close to the falls, but so far to go. We made it this far. We did make it this far. We could always uh, take our shoes off downstream and cross and maybe come up that side. Okay, let's go downstream. All right, well, Lisa and I crossed the creek back there and literally about knee deep water. Um, thigh and deep for me. Thigh, thigh deep for her. Thigh deep for sure. And some freezing ass water to go upstream. Cold. I was in the Smokies water yesterday <laughs> and it wasn't nearly this cold. So we're still working our way up to the base of the falls. And that's getting pictures of you. All right, we've zigzagged the, the creek again. Uh, we're wet knee deep and down, but it's like I've said, I didn't come all this far to not do this. So hopefully there won't be any more creek crossings until the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Driving home with the heat on, that's for sure. <laughs> so freaking close. It's gonna be amazing. It be. It's gonna be amazing. I, I want so you to. One day I chose to wear jeans, and here I am, wet. <laughs> yeah, and creek crossings. Yeah. Huh. All right, so I'm gonna leave this camera rolling. I want you guys to see our facial expressions from from the bottom down here as we turn this corner here in a second and see this waterfall. Because I can already tell you, it's gonna be amazing. I'm looking for it, I don't see it yet. So worth it so far. Yeah, definitely. I will never wear jeans on any of our outdoor adventures or anywhere. Well, when you put jeans on this morning, I was like, why in the world are you putting jeans on? You never know because when you're gonna have to swim across freezing water. We do some crazy stuff from time to time. <laughs> Live and learn. I guess so. Live and learn. All right, I think this might be our very last turn before the waterfall. It is. Some big old boulders we've oh. been <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there's winners and there's losers. Well, we had to earn this view. Yeah, we did. Let's turn this camera around. Shaking a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, these big old rocks right here are slick. We've made it to the very bottom of uh, Cummins Falls. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I sure hope so. But uh, this is the western rim of the plateau. Uh, and all this light makes this water absolutely beautiful. I can see why this is a fantastic swimming hole in the summertime. It sure is. This is absolutely beautiful. So glad we made it out here today. It's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We've got a, quite a ways to go and a couple cr stream crossings to get out of here. Um, and it's already 4.45. So 
So it's going to be getting dark very, very soon. So we're going to head back out. We've made it back up the mountain, <laughs> up the canyon side. Like Lisa's just practicing for her rim to rim hike. We just did half a rim right there. <laughs> Whew. Lord have mercy, what a hike up. Guys, if you ever out here in Cookville, come see this waterfall. It's definitely worth it, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, the waters are so pretty. So do come check this out. And if you've been here before and know any other areas out here that I need to come check out, Put them in the comments below. I'm gonna come back out and check those out. Make sure you bring some water shoes and um, quick dry clothing. I didn't. Yeah, Lisa decided to wear jeans because she really didn't know what she was getting into today. <laughs> I didn't share that with her. So she wore jeans, but we still got the task at hand done. So. Well, now I think it's time to go get something to eat and go home. We earned it today. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. What to eat? What do you think? Well, it'll have to be something past food because I'm driving home in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you'll drive. <laughs> no. no. All you right. You can do a shot of my legs. Yeah. I'm wet up to here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she gets for wearing jeans. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, guys, remember to live free, hike often, and make every day great. <laughs>